So yeah, the, the titles for the lols obviously. Um, <clears throat> just a little explanation here. Uh, I am not a weightlifter, of course. Uh, I don't even use a front rack when I front squat, so... Um, <coughs> That that aside, because if if this for some reason gets out to my non-subscribers, what the fuck are you doing? Eating out a weightlifter? How you do a front squat? And anyway, so the the principle behind this technique, if you will, is you know catching a clean and for whatever reason losing your air, um, be it something went wonky. Uh, you know, lapse in concentration, etc., whatever. Um, you catch a clean and you lose your air. Uh, having to regain your air at the bottom of the clean um, before standing up and proceeding to jerk the bar. So, <clears throat> again, I'm not a weightlifter. It's not applicable to me. I just, I've, I've found it interesting. I had, uh, shit, I had somebody taught me this uh, five years ago, four or five years ago. Something like that. Derek Wilcox showed it to me. Um, which, again, Derek Wilcox, lightest man to squat a thousand pounds. Um, you know, pro totals in multiple weight classes uh, and multiply. He's competed in weightlifting. He's coached weightlifting, coached powerlifting, Highland Games. He's a Renaissance Periodization coach. Anyway, there's videos of him on my channel, uh, informative videos if you guys want to go see that. But yeah, so that's the principle behind it. Um, for just your average gym rats, um, I'm going to say try at your own risk if you're going to try it. Uh, it's, you know, a humbling movement. It's something fun to throw in there. It's not something that I was like, you know, I'll do, do three sets of five of pause front squats with letting your air out at the bottom of the hole. Um, there may be some mental toughness to that. Um, you know, maybe something to do with really getting good at bracing out of nowhere but yeah it's not something that anybody should probably program regularly i would venture to say weightlifters probably don't do it regularly um just taking an educated guess there any weightlifters who see this tell me i'm wrong uh i'm open to being wrong because i'm not a weightlifter but yeah just for fun guys if you want to humble yourself like pause front squats are humbling enough uh, but pause a front squat and let your air out at the bottom and then take all your air back in or as much of it as you can. You're not going to be able to get it all back in. Spoiler alert. Um, but take in as much air as you can and then try to come out of it. This was 315 here for me. So, you know, obviously a relatively, uh, lightweight, uh, uh around 60%, I think maths are hard. Um, but yeah, you know, start with a light weight and, you know, get accustomed to it and, you know, push yourself a little bit if you want at your own risk, of course, uh, and, and be humbled.